Hello and welcome to the Race Sports Car Championship here at Blue Moon Bay Oval for some Division 2 racing. This is the middle race of the event with the uh, three sprint races. And let's go through the grid here. So there's a 10 minute qualifying session which determined the grid for all three races and on pole position, surprisingly, was to heal Bro 50. In second place, we'll catch his livery later, is Drade, with third place being Lewis ZGD. In 4th place is Lazelle973 with 5th place being Mikey. In 6th place is the Brands Hatch Grand Prix winner Average Tom with 7th place being Janiya Broad. In 8th place is My Own Parasite the Canadian Driver with 9th being the bowling car of Pixtaka. Rounding out the top 10 is Cyberstrike but he is head of Noki TM77 who is in 11th. So as we get away here for the start of this 23 lap race there's a lot of stuff that these drivers have hopefully learned after the first race. Maybe we'll see a little bit more teamwork. Maybe. And uh, maybe we won't see such a divide so early on. We have seen similar divides in Division 2. And boogity 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 here at the free turn oval. As Drade slots into line there but behind the stars and stripes of the heel bro. It is of course America week so loads of deliveries are American themed. You can see that uh, some of the drivers there a little bit further back like Mikey, Tom and John O'Broid were using more of the track on the exit meanwhile Drade and Lewis were struggling but Lewis great teamwork early on to try and bump Drade closer to Tahilbro. Just further back and we can see that a gap has formed here to 7th place my own parasites and maybe Average Tom took more speed through the first turn. Meanwhile, we've got Janiya Broad, Cybershrike, Pix Tekka, and then down at the back is Noki on his own. But back in the lead, we have almost three wide action as Drake goes towards the inside of the heel, bro, at the final turn to make the move. Let's just catch a replay of that. And then as that was happening, you could see Lewis also on the inside of the American. After those Americans, we have Lazelle, Mikey, and Average Tom, all actually British drivers. into turn one and to Hillborough breaking just enough just behind the Pepsi theme car to Hillborough taking the lead here on lap two again with Lewis getting by and will want a slot in that little gap and trying to get the safe dream but look at Lazelle look at Lazelle and Mikey fighting on the inside that's going to be dangerous and Drade has gone from first to fifth there with a really poor run out of the first turn with Mikey right on the apex, really looking to make this almost full ride into this final turn, as to Hillbro almost gets quite high, and Lewis has ended up coming out on top, but is Mikey going to actually get into the lead there? Is he going to work with Lazelle? No, Lazelle is seemingly going to work with Lewis. You can see there's maybe a little bit of bumping, and Mikey has to fall in line, but he still gained some positions, as did uh, Tom. Average Tom moving up there. And you can see that Mikey's stuck on the high side. And Average Tom is now going to sneak through. But because he was so stuck on the inside, you can see he's got way less speed in the Walmart car and has to lose positions to trade now. And Tahilbro has a little bit of a speed advantage as we go towards turn two and through the banking. But it's uh, not going to be able to make any more progress. Oh, that's contact, I think, with Lewis, and he is sent into the wall. We'll go on board with him, though, to see, does he drop off? No, still all very, very close. Just a quick look further back, we've got My Own Parasite, Janine Broad. They really need to work together, as does Pictekka. Meanwhile, Cyberstrike's had an awful start to this race, as has Noki. But back up front there, two by two, as Drade pulls to the inside and might be able to take the lead. Mikey definitely will lose the lead there as he hits the wall on the exit of the turn. So Lazelle now moves into third ahead of Tom. And it's Lewis and Tahilbro rounding out this third pack. And due to the gaps on formed already, as long as these top six cars will work together well, uh, they will not be challenged for the rest of the race. It's free wide for third, with Mikey now being sent to the outside. 
he is up very high but we all see that this will work fantastically in his favour now as we go on to the main straight because he has got the choice of slipstream he's going to the left behind to heel bro and average tom although if anything he's not in the slipstream as much as he could drade is now going to be stuck on the outside on his own you got the four car train there on the inside as we look oh that's a big incident and that sent drade into the wall and drade's out of this race drade well at least out of this pack let's catch a replay and let's have a watch, it's from the same view, we can see, I think that's contact with Lazelle, and that has caused Dre to lose control and go into Lewis, and let's now watch an outdoor shot. So, we can see here, you Lazelle therefore into Dre, Dre into Lewis out of control, Dre falling now to 6th, with no speed as he stays in 5th gear, he isn't going back into 4th to try and build up that speed, that's a big mistake, he drops actually even further back behind Jani Broad picks and Mike and Parasite. Average Tom in all of that has now taken the lead. Mikey and De Hilbro have benefited as well. Lewis might fall off the pack and someone, and uh, in all of that, Mike and Parasite isn't too far away, but I don't think it's enough. And what's costing Mike and Parasite is Jani Broad is just not able to work with him well enough and maybe uh, draft him enough. Because because Draid took so long to get her back up to speed, he he's actually retired from the race. I think he was just too frustrated there after being taken out. So we've got a four car scrap now as uh, that is Lazelle in the wall. So Lazelle was also involved in that. And let's just catch a replay on, on did Lazelle. So Lazelle lost a lot of speed in that as well. I think he was potentially waiting for Drade as he felt he caused the incident and in doing so he dropped off and was stuck in that battle with Mayan Parasite. But if we skip back towards the end of lap six, we can see Lazelle now with this back with Pickstacker, Janai Broad and Mayan Parasite. And if these four can work together, they might close in on the top four, but it's a big if. But Lazelle might be the man to help them out. Fortunately for Mayan Parasite, Jani Broad is closing slightly. Meanwhile, Lazelle really not playing the long game here. Lazelle should really be trying to actually bump picks and work with him to close in, but instead he's just going for an overtake and that's just slowed him up and he's hit picks. He's hit picks into the wall twice and there you see that's just going to drop picks out of this pack. It's dropping Lazelle. That is not the way to close back in on the podium positions that has just slowed them both up and actually possibly allowed fifth and sixth to get away as we go up front mikey and thomas swapping positions we've got a third of this race done and dusted and two thirds to go pretty much Pickstecker and Lazelle have now caught up back with Mayan Parasite and Jani Broad, but they've now got even more work to do as a four-car train to catch up this four-car train. This four-car train are battling heavily, but they do have that ability to. As to Hilbro, therefore, moving in from fourth to second with uh, some nice strategy. Further back, you can see that Lazelle is continuing to try and overtake rather than work with them. As average Tom and the rest of them are actually slot in a line. This is perfect for these four. Oh, that's that's not as perfect. Mikey somehow finding a gap here on lap eight to force to Hillbro to the middle line and Mikey taking the lead. Average Tom in second to Hillbro in third, actually cutting to the inside and now makes big contact with Lewis, which could have been avoided for sure. Tom moving to the inside of Mikey after a better run from the banking. To Hillbro is gonna help him out. So that's good stuff from Tahilbro to actually help out his friend, but now he moves to the inside and that is not good and he's hit his friend! He's free average Tom and sent him possibly out of this pack. No, he has just got enough slipstream, but that was not a good move. There was no need for that, it's early on in this race. Teamwork is much more important and that was an unnecessary incident. Lazelle is now finally working with this pack, he's working with Mayan Parasite. If these two can work together then they can close in, but maybe it's too late. Then we've got Pigstecker and Pigstecker uh, and Janai Broad there. 
and Noki is well down the order. But back up front, it is now Mikey in the lead with Tahil Bro second. Average Tom, who was completely hit at turn one, just on board with me there. He lost about a second, probably. And we can see that Lewis is now going to the inside up to Hilbert. He thinks better of it, but in doing so, he's cost himself so much momentum. That's going to cost Tom momentum. No, Tom sneaks to the inside, but now Tom doesn't have a slipstream. Tom has absolutely no one in front of him to work with him. So Hilbert is staying with Mikey, and you can see now Lewis is going to go from alongside to ahead. So even though Tom did turn one better, there was no one to help him out. Further back we've got the Zell and the two blue cars here. As they sweep through the final turn, will they bump draft each other down the main street? Uh, well the Zell not using all of the track, he stays in the middle. So maybe not the best acceleration out of the corner but they do seem to be staying in line and they do continue to stay in a line before turn one so that's a little bit better teamwork and they are closing in on the group ahead as we just look at the pace Mikey dropping down to four fleshes catch a replay so uh, it's actually through the final turn we have Tahilbro on the inside Mikey's run out wide and the others have gone right into each other's slipstream so Hillbro, you can see, moving to the inside of the track, which has benefited Lewis and Tom fantastically to send Mikey down the field. So that is what teamwork can do. And as we go towards turn one, Tom there with the dive on Lewis. So after the good teamwork, all that causes contact at the exit. And see, with those four fighting, look how much the gap has closed just in that turn alone. Lazelle almost in touching distance after falling back to 8th place. On the outside is Tahilbro pushing, pushing is Lewis. Meanwhile, um, Janai Broad has retired from 7th place with a technical problem. As you go towards this battle for the lead, Lewis and Mikey there teaming up to now retake the lead. Mikey just giving Lewis a little bit of a tag along the main straight, which has worked out beautifully for the pair of them. Mikey now going around the outside, wanting to keep the momentum in fourth gear. There is big contact, but they make it through. But now neither of them have a slipstream, but they are side by side. And I think Mikey just about... Oh, he'll have to give up that position and be in second place. Meanwhile, to Hillbro and Tom will work together to try and squeeze Mikey and keep Mikey on the outside. And it is working. Mikey is stuck on the outside and surely going to drop down to third, maybe even fourth. It's so much more about making sure you have the slipstream when you need it. Because Mikey there... As might, as, as he might have had the pace to move into four first, but then the lack of slipstream and strategy means he drops down to fourth. Meanwhile, Lazelle and Maya and Parasite, who have actually been working well together, are now back in this battle. Especially with Tom fighting heavily on the inside in the Walmart car. There might even be contact as we go through the turn with Tahil Bro. Yes, there is. Yep, we are now going to have a six car scrap for the lead, surely. Pixteca, I think, has dropped off and has no chance of rescuing anything. Especially with Janai at broad for timing. Of course, we've had Cyberstrike also retiring after having a very unfortunate start. But now we do have six of the remaining eight all in a battle. And if we just catch Lazelle, when he dropped down earlier after the incident with Drade, oh, there's contact on the exit of the turn. And that is sent to Hillbrew, and I think Lewis actually banging doors, bumper to bumper. Lewis down the inside of Mikey, is that going to work? I don't think it is because he is not going to have the momentum out of the corner. He just about tries to slot in front of to Hillbrew, and it works, so that means he'll get a slight bump from behind. And then we've got Maya Parasite in sixth, just by minding his own business. But it's Mikey now on the inside of Average Tom. And the Walmart car has to concede for now. So 
So just nine laps to go here at Blue Moon Bay Speedway. Any passengers of the plane which fly over the track will be in for a treat, not knowing which of these top six are going to get the race win. There are 20 points on offer for race win with 16 for second and 13 points for third place. Uh, down the inside again is Lewis and he actually runs a bit wide. Lazelle on the inside to Hillbrow on the outside. And I think Lazelle might actually get the best run there. But no, he has to drop down and Mikey filling that gap. So Lazelle, no, that's not good awareness and he has to slot in behind Mikey in fifth. My own Parasite will keep the slipstream but he isn't able to make much progress so maybe he needs to take more speed through that tricky opening turn. It is possible to go very quick thanks to the banking. At least 150 miles per hour is possible. This time Lewis is leading into turn one and this time he's going to be on the outside with Tom on the inside but no, Mikey making it three way across the line, three wide and I think Mikey here going to sweep around the outside, can he carry the momentum through? Yes he can, Mikey will take the lead, Tom slots in behind so fantastic for off from Mikey and that just shows that actually the outside is often a better place to be than the inside there at turn one. Lewis in third, Tahil Bro, Lazelle and Mayan Parasite fourth, fifth and sixth. And there is a slight break, break, breakaway here from the top three. Tahil Bro not in the slipstream as much as he would like. But the others are battling out so that will really help them close the gap. Especially with Lazelle not battling too much. Mayan Parasite going very, very high and then weirdly at the onto the apron. So that's just going to cost him speed, not the ideal line, you want to be wide to the inside and then wide again and actually that's a solid 7 tenths back and that might be too late if the others can work together. Back into turn 1 with 6 laps remaining, it's Tom and Mikey on the inside. And you can see that gap there between 5th and 6th, maybe my own Parasite has just not been getting the correct line when racing. Yeah, showed some excellent pace at Sakuba but maybe the results will be lacking here at Blue Moon Bay. Meanwhile, Average Tom and Mikey have both shown good pace and maybe championship contenders in the first half so far. Good bumping by those two, as well as Lewis. And you can see that Lewis has actually lost out a little bit there, but it did bump Lazelle, oh, sorry, it did bump Mikey and Tom ahead, which means that Mayan Parasite is gonna struggle even more to catch up. Yet again, we've got Mikey on the outside into turn one. He will carry that speed excellently through the turn. Is it going to be good enough? No. Tom holding off. Mikey goes to the inside, but he doesn't have any slip between there side by side. You can't get much closer than that. And actually, Mikey's made the move, and he will have to. Uh, Tom will have to slip into that line. So Hillbrow, Lewis, Lazelle, they all catch up, and my own Parasite is just about holding on by a cat's whisker. Little bit of a defence from Mikey on the inside into turn three, and that's to heal bro there, looking towards the inside, trying to get as close to the apron as possible, which is now what Mayan Parasite is doing, and you can see the fantastic run Mayan Parasite gets. He goes to the inside, we've got Mikey heavily on the inside, um, and the others are all batting out, and I think the one who will that will work out for oh, is actually going to be Mikey, but that's a very strange strategy. In the end, yes, he has kept the lead. But he has now affected his acceleration through that core massively. And Tom, Lewis, they're both going to get much better runs through turn one. I think if the others have worked together a little bit better on that back uh, on that main straight rather than the side-by-side -side contact, Mikey would have actually lost positions back then. But he does now lose one here on that 19 with just four laps to go. almost on the inside but that is not going to work there but now we've got Lewis on the back of Mikey who might give him a slight tap Mikey going out of the sieve stream from Tom trying to make the move into turn one Mikey's been excellent on the outside into turn one but can he repeat the process on the inside well not if Lewis has anything to say about it oh Lewis making big contact with the rear left of Tom and that's given a big gap here for Mikey 
because that has affected Tom's speed. It's affected Lewis's speed, who actually is going to drop down to fourth because De Hilbro has filled that gap. And then Maya Parasite has finally moved up from sixth place ahead of Lazelle, who it now might be too late for him to uh, fight for a podium with three laps to go, unless he can really be strategic about this. Mikey and Tom side by side into turn three. It really is anyone's game right now. I would put my money on either Tom or Mikey as they have been up front for the majority of the race. To heal bro, we have seen drop into fifth or sixth a little bit more often. But he is now taking the lead into turn one. Lewis has an excellent run as well. He will he make it four wide? He does make it four wide and oh he might make contact with Tahil bro. No, he does not. Tahil bro actually almost forcing Mikey into the B wall. But it is Mikey who will retake the lead. Tahil bro has to slide to second surely. Yes he does, and Mikey into third. Sorry, Tom into third. Lazelle is making his way back up now. You can see him on the outside. It is just two laps to go. And one more lap until the white flag. And Lazelle is right on the back of Tom. Is he going to go for the bump to try and bump them along into first and second? No, he just pulls out of the slipstream. It's four wide. Rather than maybe trying to get two of them to pull out front. We've got contact into turn one and it's almost five wide and Mikey's being forced out wide to Hilbro taking the lead here on the Pool 12 lap. Lazelle losing all the momentum on the inside. He will drop to third. Tom moving into second with so much more overspeed and Mikey as almost in the wall, but he stays in fourth for now. We've just got a couple more miles of racing and that was whoa a massive incident there. But to Hilbro dropping into second. My own parasite here, we're just going to go on board with him. We can see Tahilbro is now on the outside, and that fight force him into the wall. It does, and that will drop Tahilbro out of contention for the win. Surely that's cost him 10 miles per hour, and in this late stage, he is going to be so furiated. Lazella out of nowhere has taken the lead. He was sick. Just two laps to go. He's now leading. Tom on the inside being pushed by Lewis, and Lewis goes out of the line, and he's lost all momentum through turn one. Mikey is in the wall. Mikey's in the wall. Lewis, you can see, has losing momentum. He's dropped down to four. Tahil Bro is now making his way up with slipstream from Mikey and average Tom. Lazelle is being pushed by Mikey. It's going to be up to these top three now, surely. We'll just quickly go on board with fourth place, who has an amazing slipstream. He cuts to the inside now. Where is Tahil Bro going to go? He is going to slot in line for now. Try and get a better run, though. We do have Lazelle and Mikey on the inside. He's not got the overlap. He's not got the overlap. He has no slipstream. He doesn't have any one to bump him. And I think it is going to be Lazelle crossing the line. As the check of wave like Amazing stuff from Lazelle to somehow come out on top. Let's just catch a Wolf Cola sponsored replay of the happenings there. Mikey pulled out probably a bit too early. Had no extra speed. Pulled out then. Tom didn't have the extra speed, so Hilbro managing to somehow get into fourth even after the contact last time around. My own parasite finishes in sixth, and Lewis, who went to the inside at turn one consistently, kept losing the momentum, and on that last lap he dropped from second to fifth, I think. So here, we can just watch a replay into turn one. You can see he has gone to the inside lane, and the two cars around him carry the extra speed, and Tahilbro also carried the extra, extra speed on the outside as he stayed in the red limiter. As they cross the line, we also have to remember that 7th place is a finish for Pickstecker. He lost the slipstream early on from the opening pack. He was then close to Janaya Broad and My Own Parasite. But then with Janaya Broad's retirement and My Own Parasite being able to pull away with Lazelle, that dropped him out of any contention. And Noki lost any chance of good points very early on in this race with uh, a poor qualifying and then he lost it all at turn one on the opening lap and lost a few seconds straight away we hope you've enjoyed this race of the race sports car championship a fantastic win surprising win from lazelle to come from sixth to first there near the end mikey the championship contender in second with the other championship contender average tom he came on the podium thank you and we'll see you next race